Hello, welcome to this video. This video is an assignment for BEF22803 Transform Circuit Analysis. This is our fellow team members, led by Zulhafizi Bin Chitman. In this video, we're going to do some RLC resonance circuit analysis for this circuit. Alright, for the calculation, we're going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law. Negative Vs plus IR plus IZL plus IZC equals to zero. Let ZL equals to J omega L and ZC equals to 1 over J omega C. So negative Vs plus I in bracket R plus J omega L plus 1 over J omega C equals to 0. This is this equation we can get substituting ZL into the, into the above equation. So let's say Z is an impedance for R plus J omega L plus 1 over J omega C, where Z goes to R plus J X. So we can conclude that I S equals to V S over Z. The frequency response of the circuit's current magnitude I S can be found using find the magnitude of V S over Z. So the magnitude of Z equals to R squared plus X squared in the square root. So X is R plus J omega L plus 1 over J omega C, right? So we can conclude that the equation is I S equals to V S over R squared plus in bracket R plus J omega L plus 1 over J omega C squared under square root. And we get this equation to find the IS. So the formula to find bandwidth is R this over is R code, and we're gonna use C equals to 0 0.05 farad, R equals to 10 ohm, and L equals to 0 0.03 Henry. We're gonna run this, and we're gonna find the resonant frequency, the bandwidth, and the quality factor. So this is the graph. So if I point it at a peak here, somewhere, the X point for that particular point is 24.91, approximately same as the resonance frequency that is 25.8199. The quality factor is 0 0.0775. For quality factor 1, it's the same as the quality factor 2. So the bandwidth is 333.3333. Sounds tiring, isn't it? So let's just say 333.33 data. We're going to use C equals 0 0.05, R is 20, and L is 0 0.023. So we're going to run this code and find, the like just like the previous code, we're going to find the bandwidth the quality factor and the resonant frequency. So as you can see in this graph, just like before, we're going to point at the peak here. Is somewhere between this point. Yep. So it is the x point for that particular point is 24.91, kind of approximately similar to 29.484. It is approximately equal because the, the axis is this large like this is 10 to power 0 and this is 10 to power 5 which is, the range is quite large so we can call it approximately equal and the bandwidth is 869.5652 and the quality factor for both quality factor 0 0.0339 Alright, for the third set of data, we're going to use R for 30 ohm, C is 0 0.05 farad, and L equals to 0 0.3 Henry. And we're going to run this code, and the graph is seems smaller than before, than the previous set of data. So we're going to find the peak here somewhere around 8 point, 8 point something. 8.7, but in this, the resonant frequency here, 8.1, so it's kind of approximately similar, 
so the bandwidth is 100 100 and the quality factor is 0 0.0816 the same as the second one so this is uh, the coding for the combination of uh, three graphs so let's run it okay now we can compare if you look at figure 1, the peak of the graph is somewhere around 1 and if you look at figure 2, it's 0 0.5 and figure 3 is zero somewhere 0 0.35 Now, the, the highest was 1 and the lowest was 3 So what exactly is a series RLC circuit resonance? The resonance of a series RLC circuit occurs when inductive and capacitive reactants are equal in magnitude cancel each other because they are 180 part in phase. The shape minimum is impedance which occurs is useful in tuning applications. The sharpness of the minimum depends on the value of R and is characterized by the Q of the circuit. I will leave you the link to, to the resources, uh, to the references I found in the description. So move on next. So what is the selectivity of, of Q? Resonance circuits are used to respond selectively to signal of a given frequency while discriminating against signal of different frequencies. If the response of the circuit is more narrowly picked around the chosen frequency, we say that the circuit is, has higher selectivity. A quality factor, Q, as described below, is a measure of the selectivity and we speak of a circuit having a high Q, it is more narrowly selective. So, if you look at this diagram, Highest Q makes lower frequency. I mean, high Q has lower bandwidth and low Q has large area of bandwidth. This application can be done in can be found in radios and like for example, if you're an engineer oscilloscope. So now we're gonna compare. This is the quality factor for graph 1, quality factor for graph 2 and 3. So based on the 3 graph, graph 3 is the best selectivity because it's resonant with greater amplitude at the resonant frequency but have a smaller range of frequency around the frequ frequency for which they resonate, that is the bandwidth. So in this graph, graph 3 has the highest, the highest quality factor, which is good. So quality factor is for an electrical resonance system, the Q factor represents the effect of electrical resistance and for electromechanical resonators such as quartz, crystal, and mechanical friction. How do I know this? Well, ask most students where they get their reference. So what is the relationship between Q and bandwidth? The two-sided bandwidth relative to a carrier frequency of F hertz is F over Q. For example, an antenna tuned to have a Q value of 10 and a center frequency of 100 kHz would be a 3 decibel bandwidth of 10 kHz. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, leave a like and help us with liking this video. Thank you.